Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 12 of Direwolf20's Create Above and Beyond Let's Play series, uh, where today we've got a whole bunch of stuff to do. That's the plan, at least. Uh, so last episode we started preparing for our new production line, and today I think I've got all the stuff I need to really get this ball rolling. Uh, so with that said, let's do the thing and see how much luck we can have. So you... And you, and that should form a infinite source here. Can I not place against you without you going into the thing? Yeah, I don't like that. That's annoying. Let's do... Let's do this. Yeah, and then we can place it like so. Now, if my assumptions are correct, sweet. Nope, not what I wanted to do. If I set this up right, these should all three be producing 320 SU. Nice! 320 stress units. Don't mind if I do. Alright, not too shabby. Not too shabby. And I should be able to get rid of all the cobble here. Eh, somebody wants to have a trapdoor still. Mm, wrong way. But close. But close. I kind of like using the trapdoors. I don't know why. There's probably something better I could use, but, you know, it's fun using the trapdoors. What can I say? What can I say? It's fun using them. Does that work? That works pretty well. And then I should be able to clear this out. And this should be temporary water that'll go away once I fix it. Nice. All right, that don't look so bad. All right, so a few water wheels. Uh, we may expand it, we'll see. I don't know how much stress units I'm gonna need for the contraption I'm about to build, but my goal here is to build the rose quartz making machine. Uh, there's gonna be several steps that need to go into this, and I think I've prepared a majority of the items I'm gonna need in advance, um, at least to get the um, that, 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 this stuff going, right? Uh, the Volatile Sky Solution. I think that's the first thing I'm going to want to mix. So that's going to be Sky Stone Dust and Water. So here's what we got to do. Step one. We're going to need to get um, a crusher, a millstone, making Sky Stone. And Sky Stone is infinite, remember, right? So let's start with the crusher here. Uh, you're going to need... Uh, let's put down our toolbox, right? Let's get our cog wheel going. Now you're going to need, um, let's see if we could get, uh, let's see, what do we want to set up here? We want, do I also have these guys? I do. Cool. I'm going to put you in slot three for the moment. And you're going to be big going to small. You might be big going to big. Give me some of these guys too. Yeah. Yeah. Big. You know what we should use is, I think I have my wrench. Shift click and it goes right into your inventory. Perfect. Can't you, well, maybe you only go in the front, huh? That might be a thing. That might be the case. Okay. You know what we could also do is we could also... Kind of wanted you like this. Yeah, that's what's up. And then you're gonna have a small doohickey like so. And you can do your millstoning right here, probably. That looks nice, okay. Not too shabby. Now it's half of a kinetic generator water wheel thing. So uh, we're gonna wanna, 
My concern now is that what if I have to expand this? I don't want to build on both sides. Yeah, that might not be a good idea either, to be honest with you guys. So we should really build it over here. Let me move this thing. Okay, so I want you in this slot, and then I want you and you ready to go. Okay, so we should probably have the millstone somewhere around here-ish. We could probably set this up. Um, I do want to have a little bit of a speed increase. That was not supposed to go there. I do want to have a little bit of a speed increase happening, but not too crazy. Okay. Um, it's a bummer that the small connectors can't angle like that, but mm, it's fine. Let's do... Let's do our millstone... I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my millstone roughly here. And then we can have you, and then underground, we'll run some, some conduiting. That sounds like a plan, right? Uh, what we could do is this, and I have belts, right? I do have belts, perfect. Let's put belts here. And then I'm going to put away my water wheels. And you know what, I might put the water wheels in this guy. Yeah, that seems like a good spot for him right now. And let me have, not in case chain drives, but a gearbox. But I want a vertical gearbox. And then you guys can belt it up, right? Yeah, buddy. That works for me. Okay, so that's step one. All right, now I'm going to need to filter out of this machine. Okay, so to do that, we're going to want andesite funnels. Okay, and he's going to drop onto a belt, which will probably run, if I wanted the belt here, eh, it doesn't seem right, does it? Because I think if I want to feed out of this thing, we're going to want the belt to be a little bit below it, right? So should I bump this up one? I could do that. That shouldn't be too hard. Let's do that. Let's bump this up one. So we'll put the mill stone here with, let's say, a nice little piece of sand under it. Then we will have this guy feeding onto a belt system that goes here to here. Okay. Now check out my trick that I'm going to do for filtering. So we can't filter to pull items off of this just yet, right? So look what's going to happen um, with this whole setup. It's going to be a bit of a hassle. Now are you going the right direction? You are. Perfect. All right. Cool. That's great. Let me get Skystone to demonstrate to you guys what the problem is and then the solution I came up with. All right. If I were to drop, let's have a hopper on the back here for this. If I were to put a piece of Skystone in here, he's going to mill that up, right? So the millstone's going to run. He's going to chew it up into Skystone dust and Skystone. And then both will spit out onto the belt. And we need to pull out only uh, the Skystone to get it back into the hopper. Okay? And that's going to be a little bit of a hassle for us. So to accomplish that... Boy, you are slow, aren't you, Mr. Millstone? Boom, boom, right? So if I were to try to tunnel this into a chest or something right here, uh, it would be a problem. But what I could do is I could use a drawer with Skystone in it that's locked. Meh? So now watch what happens. If I do this, that's the opposite direction. We want to shift click you. And that should have, see on the top here, there's arrows, this arrow, and you can change it by wrenching it. So this will make items spit out. This will suck items off the belt. But there's only one item that's allowed in here, and that's Skystone. So watch what happens when we Skystone this guy now, okay? 
What should happen is the sky stone will get sucked into the drawer, but the dust won't. Cool? How cool is that? I like that. I think that's cool. My only problem is you're a little slow. Um, you, you did do the thing, right? Oh, there it goes. See? See? So the dust spit out, and the sky stone went back into the drawer. How cool is that? Now, I think... So you want to do that, do you? I was hoping that you'd be a little bit cool and, like, put you right into the hopper. So we're just going to have to sneakily figure out a way to get this to go. Now, I don't think I can use pipes just yet. Uh, pretty pipes is cool. But the problem with pretty pipes is in order to make an extraction module, we need a brass pipe module, which needs brass machines, which is what we're trying to make. Um, so that ain't gonna happen just yet. What we could have maybe is you, what we could have is, are you gonna do that? That has you, going in. Can I do this and this? Are you processing at the moment? Where is my doohickey? Where's my sky stone? Here it is. So if I put you in there, are you chewing right now? You don't appear to be, right? Oh, you don't want to feed into that? Oh, that's a bummer. I was hoping that would work. All right, what if we did this? You ready? Hold on. What if we did funnel into there oh that's right we couldn't we couldn't get it to pipe into the funnel which is a bummer uh, all right i think i got something here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna have the funnel pull it out here and then suck it into there with like a little miniature belt system does that make sense so what i'm gonna have is a sequenced gear shift like here and here and then I'm going to have a gearbox here so that it's pulling the right way. So then if I do this, that should work. Now, theoretically, this cobblestone is not needed. Let me put away all my stuff for a minute. Theoretically, this cobblestone is not needed. But I might be wrong about that. We'll see. But, you know. So check it out. It's grinding it. And then it's going to spit it out. See the sky stone at the top? And what should happen is sky stone will get sucked in and then deposited right back in there and see how it's back. So that's infinite sky stone dust right now, right? So the way this works is we've got a drawer here. Now I can probably replace this all with pipes once I have access to brass machines, but this will work for now. Okay, it's a little convoluted, but I think it has to be. I can't come up with a better way to do that in a nice compact way. So yeah, look, we're getting sky stone dust, sweet. Now you're gonna go into a basin. Okay, so in theory, the only things that are going to go in here are basin, into the basin is the sky stone dust. That's it. And it's going to keep filling with sky stone dust. Now we need our pipes uh, because we need to get water going. Now what I'm thinking is I'm going to use, I'm thinking an aqueous accumulator or do I want to just use the pump? Let me see how the pump works from Create because I feel like the mechanical pump can pull water. Right? Can it pull water from uh, infinite water source? 16 blocks away. Okay. It does say I could do that, but I could just make an aqueous accumulator and that might make like a little bit easier. So why don't we make one of those? That's just gonna be a copper machine, which is some sealed mechanisms. So those are easy enough to make now, right? Because I've got, actually I have some sealed mechanisms still, don't I? Uh, I do, sweet. Do I have any extra copper plates or no, not really. No, not really, but we can make one real quick. Sweet. Hey, give me that back. Okay, so uh, you make this. Okay, and then now we can have an aqueous accumulator. Oh, we did have one in there. Oh, well, my bad. Uh, which is a bucket. So you and a bucket. 
and then give me an extra bucket. Because I like having two on me. Sweet, aqueous accumulator. Uh, let's also get our pump and our pipes here. Now this aqueous accumulator is going to have a lot um, to do. Right, it's gonna have a lot of work to, to, <clears throat> to do. So what we're gonna wanna have is a one of these. The aqueous accumulator. What I'm thinking is maybe we'll set you up here-ish. Okay, he should already be full. And then we shouldn't have too much of a problem pumping things, right? Let's get our, this dude. Now we might need more pipes, but that's okay. We'll deal with that in a minute. Now it did say there was a limit to how far they could go, right? Um, regardless of speed, mechanical pumps affect pipes connected up to 16 blocks away. Okay. Um, speeding up input rotation changes the speed of flow propagation as well as how quickly fluids are transferred. Makes sense. Um, pumps can combine their throughputs within shared pipe networks. Okay. Sweet. So I might need multiple pipes. We'll figure it out if we do. So first thing I want to do is fill this thing up with water, right? So then all we should have to do, theoretically, is get a mechanical pump here somewhere. Make sure that the arrows are facing the right direction. Okay, and check this out. If I were to put... That's right, I picked you up, didn't I? <laughs> If I were to put one of these inside here, that's in there now. And then I can have a gearbox but let's make it vertical. And then we can have ourselves a tiny gear. Sweet. And now what we should see is water flowing. Cool. And I'll just, you know, open up a few of these just so we can kind of see water coming through. Neat. I like it. All right, good. And then the water should make its way all the way over there. Now, we may need another pump uh, in the end to make this work, but we'll see what happens. But in theory, you should be filling up with water now. And I don't want you to have that, but I do want you to have all those. And then one block on top of that is going to go the mechanical mixer, which is going to need a gear on the side. So that's going to have to be our next little bit of dire wire. What I'm thinking is maybe the gear could be on this side. And what we could have is maybe I probably want more gear boxes, don't I? Yeah, probably. Let me go get some more. All right, running back. So, if we had a gearbox and then a vertical gearbox and then a shaft that should be cool and now you're making volatile sky solution okay cool perfect exactly what I wanted to see now we need to pump you out to somewhere right so that's we've got this guy done Right, we've got this guy done and we could use a bucket of it just to prove it out, right? So, hey, look what I've got, a bucket of, not water, not water, please. I might have to disconnect you for a sec if you're gonna be a nuisance like that and keep filling you back up with water. No, don't do that now. Yes, it's cool that you do that, but also please don't do that. There's our sky solution, nice. Okay, now I can reconnect you and you should start filling back up with water at some point. At some point. 
cool. Yeah, water's coming in. Should be there in a sec. So that is this quest complete. Now we have to make it into this setup, right? So in order to get destabilized redstone, you need to be another mixer with charged Certus Quartz. Okay, got it? So what if we had another basin here? Gonna need more crafting. All right, so effectively we're just gonna want another mixer here, right? And then you just need to be this and this, and that should get you going. Nice. All right, cool. And now we just need to drain out the fluids here. Now, hopefully you're smart enough to know what the output fluid is, right? Uh, hopefully you're smart enough to know what the output fluid is. I guess we'll find out. I'm hoping that you're going to be able to do just straight up that. And then I should be able to stick you here. You're going to be cool, right? Fluid container, you're going to be cool. Hopefully you know how that works. Do you need like a piping pipe connection? Can you not just straight up do the thing? That might be a problem. Well, not a problem, just bigger. All right, guys, we're back. So, uh, bad news is, is you seem to not be that smart. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, smart fluid pipes require copper machines. I could do that. I could do that. I wonder... I wonder if this works. Let's try it, shall we? Uh, so I think I need a smart fluid pipe here. Now, unfortunately, I tried to ponder it and my game crashed, so there's a rendering problem with the ponder on that, but, but, I think we'll be alright. So, what I'm gonna need is 16 of you, right? And 8 of these. And then we can make you, we can make you, and then you stone cut into a smart fluid pipe cool okay now i've got the bucket now i'm going to assume uh that you will work like this so let's see make sure you're facing the right direction I'd like to ponder how the smart fluid pipe works, but it crashed last time I did that. So let's put the basin here. Let's put the smart fluid pipe like so. And then we'll put our mechanical pump like so. Well, there's your problem. Okay, I got an idea. What if we put it this way? Okay. Okay. And then the pump here. Yes, going in that direction. Is that cool? Come on, work for me. Going in that direction. Come on, work for me. Uh, yes, Volatile Sky Solution is being pumped out. Nice. That's what I wanted to see. Perfect. Perfect. Cool? All right, so that's how we do that. 
All right, nice. So then you're gonna go here and you're gonna be a mechanical mixer like so. Nope. All right. And then you're gonna be ready to make charge Sardis Quartz into destabilized redstone. Cool. So what we're gonna need is our charged Sirtis Quartz, which I don't think I have any of with me now, but I have some back at home. And we'll, we're will we gonna have to look at how we're going to charge the Sirtis Quartz. Now you might notice that I've got two dynamos inside that chest. That's cool. Let's get just one of these for the moment. Because it should loop the same one over and over again. And I think that'll work. We might add a second just to make it so that it's a little bit faster, but we'll see how that works out. Okay, so I've got Magmatic Dynamo and I've got Sterling Dynamo. Now here's my question, and we also need the Charger. Okay, so our problem is gonna be looping it around correctly. That's gonna be a little bit of a trickiness to it, right? Because um, we're going to want to get the thing out of there and then get it back into here. Kind of like I had to do with my millstone. So first question of the day is if I put this, nope, not, not, not a filter, no filter, please. Empty hand filter. And you're spitting out. If I just put you here, you spit it out right away. So that's a problem. So that's a problem. I might need you to go into a drawer Yeah, so what I could have is this. Let's have a belt system here. Yeah, it might be what we wanna do. Now if I put you, can you please with the recipe filter? How do you unrecipe filter this thing? Okay, we'll figure that out in a minute, I guess. All right, so I've got a solution here. Oh boy, that's not what I wanted to do. Aha! That should be filling up with sky solution. Perfect, 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 perfect. And then we wanna have the mixer up one. And then we should be able to have like that. Okay, and then, perfect. Now let's try really hard to avoid setting the filter again because that's gonna just be like a real big nuisance. What I might do as a temporary is remove you so that you stop doing that just because it's gonna be wonky. All right, so now we want, now I have access to more sides, which is gonna be important for me, right? And I might wind up just doing this so we have easier access to this side. Okay, now let's, think about how we want to get this out of here, right? So you're going to go onto here, but I want to make sure the only thing that you can pull out is the uncharged Sirtis, right? So since this setup might be easier with brass, here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to make a couple of these polished rose quartzes a little bit manually for a minute, and then we will automate more with brass stuff. Because like I really need a filtered brass funnel. I don't want to extract charge Sirtis. And I don't think there's a way to do this without brass at the moment. So I think I'm gonna have to make this a little bit manual for a moment. So if I did this, you should mix. And you're gonna do what? Destabilized redstone? Okay, cool. Perfect. So then I get that out and I can have my charger. So let's temporarily set up a charger with a sterling dynamo. And that's just gonna be coal based. Okay. And then I can make pretty pipes to make this thing a little bit easier and less dire wiry. So I'm gonna get my first bucket manually so that we can see what the process looks like. And then we'll be able to use pipes to make stuff and filters a little bit better. Cool? So trust me, getting to the next tier of resource is gonna make this a lot better for us. Cool? Okay, now get me a bucket of that. Thank you. And notice it's not filling up because I disconnected this thing for a minute. Perfect. 
Perfect. All right, cool. Give me a couple more buckets just because I like having them. Okay, and then let's filter you to that. Perfect. Now, what do we do next? Oh yeah, so look at that. We can turn uh, Certus Quartz directly into Certus Quartz Seeds. That's kind of cool. But that's also gonna require the Brass Age, right? Uh, yeah, Brass Machines. So, another thing that will make this assembly line easier once we've gotten the initial pieces. So let's go ahead and make our first couple charged Certus Quartz, uh, sort of manually-ish. So, first thing we're gonna wanna do is millstone it up and then turn it with sand into uh, into things. So let's plan for this assembly line piece, right? So I'm gonna have a little bit of spacing away, but like what would be cool is if it was lined up in a similar kind of manner. So like, let's put the millstone here, okay? And that should be doable. Now, could I put a vertical dude on the bottom of this thing? That would be super cool. Right, and then, are we out of those? We might be, but not for long. Perfect, that works for me. That works for me. That's pretty cool, I like that. You know what's funny, actually? I don't think I need this no more, right? Or do I? Does this need to be a horizontal gearbox or can it be a vertical gearbox? Because I may not need this whole setup now. Yeah. If I turned you into a vertical gearbox, you should work. Right, and now the millstone's being powered by that. So that saves us quite a few resources, honestly. Right? I think so. Sweet. Now I just have to get this thing spinning again, which shouldn't be too badish. Yeah? Does that work? A little, little bit better. A little bit better. All right. So step one is we're going to drop a Certus Quartz dude into here right and then he should spit out uh a seed or a dust right perfect cool i like it i like it sweet so you're gonna run your dust and you're gonna get dripped on with or no you're gonna combine into uh what I'll probably have is my, I wonder if I can put the mechanical crafter right in front of you. Like that wouldn't work, would it? It might, or I could have a hopper. Yeah, let's do it with a hopper. So if I put a hopper here into a mechanical crafter, hopefully that would work. And then let's assume that this mechanical crafter is going to turn it into a seed. Well, two seeds really. Um, let's assume that that would work. Cool. Actually, I bet I could do it with a pipe and then the crafter here, okay? So let's assume that the crafter's here and then I'm gonna have from here to let's say here, a belt system. Do I have more belts? I do, good. Uh, whose job it will be to funnel out. So let's, instead of this, temporarily we're gonna make this a chest and you're gonna be Certus Quartz Seeds, okay? That works for me. That works for me. All right, next up, let's make a spout. Uh, so that's gonna be you with a hopper to get a spout. Now, here's the deal. We need to drop half a bucket of water on this four times in order to get the next tier of, of, of upgrade, right? So what I'm thinking is we might wanna just do it on a depot. And if that's the case, could we just like that? Would that be a thing that you could do? Maybe. And can the spout go through this dude? That's the question, right? 
And do you need any kind of uh, rotational thing for the spout to work? I actually don't know that. Oh, that's not how that's going to work, is it? Nope. <laughs> that doesn't work. All right, so I can't, uh, I can't put water in you. But let's see. I will probably want to run a convoluted bit of dire wire piping. Now remember, we're probably going to want to pipe stuff. So we want to be a little bit smart about this. Now, I don't know if this is going to be within 16 blocks, but we're going to find out. Ha! Perfect. Perfect. Classic dire. Okay. Can you do this? You can. Nice. Lovely feature, by the way. I love that feature. It's the best. Looks like it's going to work. Maybe. I assume it wouldn't start pushing if it couldn't make it all the way there. Now the question is, will you do what I want you to do? Yes. See, one, two, three, four, and he should grow. Perfect. And then he'll keep going until he's done. I like it. I like it. And then eventually, we will get the pure Certus, right? Eventually, we will get the pure Certus. And then we want to pull the pure Certus off of here so that the next one can start going. All right, and I definitely feel like pipes will make this a little bit easier. Okay, but that's cool. I haven't technically automated it yet, but, you know. Sweet. And now we can get this guy, which is just mixing the destabilized redstone with the pure certus. Cool. So luckily I have another smart pipe. Uh, and what I can do is have this guy feed to another basin. Because I want to have a basin dedicated to the crafting of these things. Okay. Put everything away for a sec. Clean up my inventory. I love that. I love that mechanic. Can I just say that? I can't say it enough, honestly. So you're going to go... If you're spinning that way, we could probably have another one... We really want the filter coming off here. I guess he doesn't want to turn because he doesn't have a thing, right? And then you give me some of these, please. go this way, right, into that direction. Cool, and we can make this work uh, one way or another. We'll figure out a way to, to do that. Um, now I should be able to rotate you, or no? Perfect, and then I can put the redstone bucket in the filter slot, okay. Now, if I get you rotational power, which I'll do in a very convoluted way for a sec. You know what I could probably just do is, you know what would be really neat would be to do something like this. You ready? Give me these guys. Boom. And then give me a belt. It's going the wrong direction, but that's okay. I can rotate that with... A gearbox. 
Cool. And then in theory, can I see what's inside? Oh, no, I can't. That's a bummer, because you're angled. But in theory, you should be pumping that in the right direction now and doing the thing. Oh, right, I didn't, uh, I used up my fluid. Okay, hold on. Let's get more of that real quick. Uh, so let's fill you up. Oh, overstressed. <laughs> We're going to need more of that. Uh, not a problem. I can fix this. So that should fill this up now. And then let's get ourselves some charged Certus. Times four. Well, let's just do... How much do I need for the Rose Quartz? I need 250 millibuckets. Okay. Shouldn't that be good? Shouldn't you be mixing now? Shouldn't this be mixing? Because this is charged service. So this should be working. Why are you not working? I'm going to try it without the filter. I'm wondering if maybe the filter was the problem there. But you're definitely working, so you should be filling up with Sky Solution at some point. Oh, right. I need to reconnect you. And then you're going to fill up, and now you're mixing. All right, so that was definitely the problem for some reason. All right, cool. And now if I let you run... He should start draining out the this stuff. That's 250 of that. Cool. And then you are a mixer, right? Or a compact. No, that's compacting. We want mixing, right? Yeah, we need to mixer you. So I need another mixer. All right, mixer. Now this is a little convoluted. Just a little bit. But uh, it will get better, I assure you. Okay, so we're going to do overstressed. Yeah, no surprise there. Let's remove you for a sec. And then if we drop our pure certus in here, he should mix and make our very first polished rose quartz. Nice! And then we apply iron to that, a very small amount of iron, to make an electron tube. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to wrap up the episode. We're going to come back next time, and we're going to continue this contraption. I'm going to make a bunch of these off camera. Um, so we're going to need another spout that's going to have liquid iron in it. Uh, so I'll probably set up something like this to melt iron. And as a reminder, we can automate melting iron from gravel. So we can make a cobblestone generator making gravel that'll turn it into a little bit of iron nuggets um, that can then, I don't know why this is a thing, but route the nuggets into your high temperature melting equipment, a melter from Tigger's Construct, for example. Yeah, I know. Uh, and then that will let me automate the iron production, right? So in theory, we should be able to make this like an infinite amount of these once we finish the whole production line, but it's going to be a little bit of work. So for now, Level 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time to continue this process. And then once we have a handful of these, I'm going to optimize it using filters and, and pipes because it'll make life a little bit easier. All right. Take it easy.